सफलतापूर्ण और अंतक्षेपण भी बाकी है For Aditya L1, ISRO has developed advanced flight dynamic software to obtain past trajectory data from tracking, apply mathematical computation to calculate present and future location of the spacecraft in a process known as orbit determination. With the correct orbital parameters at the time of injection, are of prime importance. Up to Kul Pais or Mishnoko, NASA, ESA, German. Alipia L1 satellite separated. Or just kind of Zartha, Pal Achuka hai, Stipushti Kardigay hai, Aditya L1. Alipia L1. Mission accomplished. Handing over to mission director. And we have a confirmation of Aditya L1 separation. The mission has been accomplished. Yeah. The PSLV-C57 has injected Aditya L1 satellite into the desired intermediate or orbit. PSLV-C57 Aditya L1 mission is accomplished. Aditya L1 ko poorn parishuddhata se iske nardharit kaksha mein sthapit kar diya gaya hai. Iske baad wa apne aage ki सफर जारी रखेगा L1 पॉइंट के लिए। Do join us for the address by Chairman Isro, Secretary Department of Space, Sri S Somnath. सभी दर्शकों को शुभ कामनाएं और बधाइयां इस मिशन की सफलता के लिए। अब हम आपको लिए चलते हैं अध्यक्ष महोदय के एड्रेसिंग के लिए। Congratulations. Uh, the Aditya L1 spacecraft has been injected in an elliptical orbit of 235 by 19,500 km, which is intended very precisely by the PSLV, very unique mission mode here with the upper stage of the PSLV taking two burn sequence for injecting the primary satellite for the first time. So I want to congratulate PSLV for such a very different mission approach today to do this mission of Aditya L1 to put it in, in the right orbit. Now from now, the Aditya L1 will take its uh, journey after some earth maneuvers. It will start its journey to the L1 point, a uh, very long journey of almost 125 days. So let us wish all the very best to Aditya spacecraft for its long journey and being put around the hollow orbit of L1. So with me, the mission executives are there, uh, Mr. Biju, the mission director, and Nikar Shaji, the director of the satellite project, project. So let them join me. Our Honorable Minister of State for Science, Technology and Space is here, Dr. Jitendra Singh, so I request him to speak a few words. Congratulations, India. Congratulations, ISRO. And while the whole world washed this with bated breath, it is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. Thanks also, Honorable PM, for giving us the confidence, the courage and the conviction to reach out to the stars and to discover the mysteries of universe beyond. And thanks also for making us realize the enormous potential of our space fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night 
for years and years together. But now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. To name a few, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, the National Aerospace Laboratories, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, the Nijri, NGRI, Nagpur, the IIT, Khadakur, IIT, Madras, IIT, Delhi, IIT, Mumbai, and the list is too long. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day, the 2nd of September 2023, is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal. Congratulations once again, Chairman Somanath, the entire ISRO team and the entire countrymen. Uh, may I request uh, the project director of Aditya L1, Nikhil Shahji, to say a few words. Good afternoon. It's a dream come true for uh, team Aditya L1. And I'm extremely happy that Aditya L1 is uh, injected in the intended orbit flawlessly by PSLV as always. And Aditya L1 solar panels are deployed. And Aditya L1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards L1. We have uh, our earth burns to rise the orbit and, that, and followed by the trans L1 injection and finally in session into the halo orbit in the sun earth Lagrange in point L1. Once the Aditya is commissioned, it will be an asset to the heliophysis of the country and even to the global scientific fraternity. And I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, uh, Director URSC, former Director URSC, and all the Center Directors for their support and guidance for making this mission possible. And my thanks are due to my project team and all the project executives across the Center, payload teams, especially the teams from the IAA and IUCA, for the relentless effort in building the payload as well as the spacecraft. My special, my special thanks to the expert committee who have been guiding all through the entire project life cycle and I thank all the industrial partners and the entire URC team for uh, their invaluable contribution and I feel really honored and privileged to be part of this mission and at this juncture I like to remember, I would like to remember Professor U.R. Rao who sold the seed for this mission and looking forward for a successful halo orbit in session and for the science, great science output from the Aditya L1 mission. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, Sri Biju, the mission director and the project director of PSLV. Good afternoon to all. My big salute to all of you for achieving this wonderful mission of Aditya. We have injected Aditya in its intermediate orbit.